Moonstone Island. Let's get into it. All right. I have no idea what we're doing. Um, okay, we just woken up. I think we were exploring some islands to level up. But I don't remember much outside of that. We had just discovered this island, which had a maze and a dungeon. Here, are cops who investigate murder scenes, point and click originally on OG Xbox. Really? Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, definitely not heard of that. But, but yeah, if you're if you're interested in, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit for me because that's a little loud. Um, if you're interested in in retro classics or some things you may not have heard of, obviously leave it. A good person to check out. Yeah, I think we were going to head to this dungeon. We had to, like, the entrance is at the top, and then we had to, like, make our way through there. Um, we've got our, we've got our seeds growing. we got to feed. Okay. We've got a lot of clay. Not getting Okay. Um let's uh So, this guy's a little rough because he actually blocks you from getting to his feeder. These these guys we don't have to feed because they have the... Basically, we could turn one moonstone into this, like, never-ending feeder things. So, it's, it's kind of cool. Never heard of this game? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Moonstone Island. Um... Basically, it's a creature collector life life sim game. So a lot of a lot of life sim games have like some sort of combat. The combat for this one is we have a team of three creatures. So let me see our team. Um, we can't see our team from here. There's a, there's a lot of like UI stuff that I wish they had, but like they, we can't see what we've fished out so far. But you, you basically there's different creatures of different element types that you collect. Um, and you have quests, obviously. You explore these islands to find more different types. So like these green ones are. And your necklace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, so your necklace, you can see your team. Um, there it is. So you get you get a team of three. This is our current team right here. Um, and uh, they you level up, you get you get different stats, but the combat is uh, card based. So it's a creature collector card based battler that's also a life sim. Also, hello, Juichiro? Ju Juichiro? I think I'm saying that right. Uh, how are you doing today? But, um, but yeah, you can, you can feed them different things like this to give them more health. NC team comp. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> one one s support to attack. But um Oh, nice team comp. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't really discovered a whole lot. There's supposed to be I think like 88 spirits and we've we found I think 30 of them. So um, but yeah, we were going to make our way to this dungeon here. Also, I think we're coming up on the end of, uh, the month. Because I think the month ends on 28. Yeah, and we're on 24. So. 
Um, you also have your own personal leveling. So as you do stuff, the life sim stuff, um, you unlock different skills that you can do to, um, or they're, they're kind of passive, uh, but different things you can do to make a specific character. So you get a little bit of build variance um, between playthroughs, but uh, any Psychic Storm yet? No, we, we were told that they sometimes randomly show up on an island, but we have not encountered one yet. So, um, to hop on our glider, um, but yeah, we were going to go clear out this dungeon. There's also this dungeon. That's a poison island. Uh, we have, the, the only problem with our team is our earth. We, we recently had a bunch of earth things because that's what, like one of the first elements you get. Um, is is basically earth and water, and earth is really really weak to poison, <laughs> like really weak, and poison can go around block. So it it, it basically the the poison will demolish your team. Do I want to tip for a psychic storm? No, I, I'm good. I, I'll figure it out. I'm just I'm just more about the exploring and hanging out. But thank you though. Um, but yeah, I think we were gonna head to this dungeon. Um. And we're also trying to power up our squad, so that way we can take on more of the poison stuff. Because we've switched over to doing a water, a fire, and a poison. Um, so, but yeah, let's 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 head over to the island. Uh, this button? No, what's the button? There we go, X. And we got the glider, which is, it doesn't take, it takes stamina per, like, second, but it doesn't, the broom you have to charge up. Um, so this is, as far as we found, this is the best uh, mode of transport. So, okay, so we need to go, and also these, these islands have a chance to, sp basically every island has a mine. You just have to hit enough of the rocks to, uh, get the mine to show up. Um, ooh, there's an island here. We should probably take a... Is this part of this island up here, though? It is. Okay. The entrance to this little maze thing is right over here. But they they each have... Uh, you break these rocks right here, and they, they each have a mine you can go in. So if you're low on, like, iron or some sort of stone... Do we have any memory shards? No, we've got some cash. We might be able to get some good cards off this guy. This is another guy that shows up. Um, this is Magic Man. Uh, every time you defeat a dungeon, you get a memory shard. And there's 50 dungeons, so I'm guessing there's 50 memory shards. That would be my guess. Um, also sells cards. Um, uh, cleanse is actually very good. We're going to grab that. Um, ooh, holy water, all conditions from all allies. 600 bucks? I'll take it. Upgrade all cards and the rest of your deck, yeah. Okay. But, uh, so, that's another mechanic. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So far, the, my, my only gripe is I feel like there's a lot of systems in place, that don't really connect to each other. They're just kind of there. Um, there's a lot of life sim stuff that just doesn't seem to really interact with the creature stuff. Um, and vice versa. So... Because there's there's a game called Ooblets, which is also a creature collector, but in that one, um, the farm that you build you basically grow the creatures. So you have to go out and find like different seeds and stuff to grow new creatures. So the, that way the farming is connected directly to the um, like creature collecting stuff. Whereas this game, like a lot of the farming stuff is basically just to get your team through stuff. So like the flowers you see us collecting are so that we can tame creatures. 
Um, but we're not super far into the game. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this game isn't as good as blank because I, I'm not super far into it. We're, we're still in the first um, season. Uh, we haven't made it to summer at all. Uh, they're also they're adding cooking tomorrow, I believe. I think they said they're going to be uh, there's an update on the 31st where they're going to be adding cooking. So that may alleviate some of the like, oh, there's no system for this issue that I have. Um, Got to figure out how to get through this maze. There we go. OK, so we need to get there. That's right. Update. Yeah, update tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to get on to that right side there in order to get down to the uh, thing. So, how do we get to the right side? But yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what comes of that. Um, there's also a lot of like you can upgrade your house, you can upgrade your barn, you can create a greenhouse so you can grow anything at any time. So there, there's a lot of stuff to do. Don't get me wrong. It's just I, I haven't yet figured out how the systems are supposed to really interact with each other. So. And also, so far as I found, there's no real like character customization. Again, I, we're not super far into it. We've only, been, we only played it for like nine hours, which I know is, is a long time for other types of games, but for life sim games, nine hours is like a drop in the bucket. So, um, okay, so we need to go this way. Oh, we can't go this way. Hmm. How do we... So we have to get on the right side, so we have to go maybe down this path. Okay, so we got this path, then we need to go... Okay. We might have to just, like, right wall strap this. Um, but uh, I'm interested to see what the, what the developer is going to add and stuff. But yeah, a big thing with a lot of life sims is customization. And so far as I've found, there's no character customization whatsoever. Like, you can't upgrade, like, the colors that you're wearing. Hey, treasure map. Is that treasure map for this island? No. No, it is not. But we know where that island is. That island is this island here. So we could go get some treasure. Oh, that's another cool thing you could do, by the way. They have, like, little treasure maps. Um, I guess we can go up here. Because we can't go this way, right? Yeah, can't go that way. But, uh... I don't know. Like again, I said, like I said, we haven't we haven't explored everything the game has to offer yet. So some of these issues might be addressed. Tree, tree, tree. Dead end. Okay. Again, we're trying to make our way to the right side, which we might have just found here. So. Have you cleared any temples? Oh yeah, we've we've done, we've done that temple. That oh wait, you meant not dungeons. Uh oh yeah, we did the earth one. We did the earth one there. If you're talking about the ones that give you those things, we've only done one, but we've we've done the earth one. Sorry, I thought you meant dungeons for a second. I'm like yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I think we've cleared one dungeon. Hey, there's a bag there. Um. Okay, so we're going to do this. Honestly, like, upgrades are strong, but I feel like cleanse is, is much better. That way you can more consistently get the cards you need. Okay, this is the Guardian. He They always wake up when you uh, do that. And then you walk away and come back and they're gone. Um, okay, so I want to... Let's go in here. Let's go go in here real quick. Well, I've got two things I want to feed. Let's see. 
Select, feed. We've got this. What do we want to get rid of? Uh, fancy spin. Definitely. Okay, what other cards do you have? Okay, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, let's go with you next. Consume is fine. Um, actually, that's 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 all pretty good. I think we'll we'll leave that. Well, maybe some of these cards here, but uh, we'll leave that for now. So let's go. Usually, when you see a big monster like this, they're they're a boss monster. Um. And that skull means that they cannot be caught, so they are a boss monster. Yeah, I mean, that would be the smart one to tackle, given that they're going to completely uh, wreck you. Um, let's see, what do we got? So, basically, uh, so the way the combat works is... Um, is if... Ooh, we could do a nice trick here. Uh, you see the armor that they have? You have to g use things that break that armor. So you have to reduce their armor to zero, then they get dazed, and then they just take pure damage plus a little extra. But if you use a type like this one, so you see how it has, has that little crosshair with the broken shield? That means every time they get hit by a move of this type, they will automatically lose a shield. That's why poison versus earth is very strong, because if we apply three poison, that means three turns they'll be losing armor. Right. So here, here's my plan. Uh, we start out with four. We have an upgrade. Let's just start out with four. So we're going to hit it with the poison, right? Which doesn't do any immediate thing. And then we're going to do this. Pull, oh, it says draw or I thought there was just going to be discard pile. Mm. We can actually do this. And then I guess, I guess we'll do this and see what we get. Oh, that's actually perfect. That, ooh, Venom Vine plus for free? Remove five armor, add five poison and tangle. That is, that is rough business, that. Okay. And then we can just do eight fire damage. Uh, but again, earth is, is weak to poison, so you're going to see their health kind of decrease quite a bit. But yeah, their first turn, turn, time you break their armor, they're dazed, uh, which means they don't do anything. Um, and then the second time uh, you, you, or the second round, they get to do something, but, um, they, uh, they still take uh, a damage and a half. Please don't kill our mushroom. Okay, more poison. Could do 12 damage here, which would be sick. I think this is a better, because it's free, so. And we're gonna put it at the top. So let's go with that one. And then let's see, that would be eight and eight, which would be two, H, which would be two, which is four. So this is more damage. And then we could just do, oh, they're weak to fire. Okay, so this, this is actually a pretty good squad for this. We can also feed them healing stuff to uh, keep them alive, kind of like potions, but it takes an energy for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit him with that. Then we're going to feed. Actually, we don't need to feed this turn. Um, let's just do the damage, and the next turn we'll feed. Unless they die. There you go. But yeah, we're trying to level this squad up. Ooh, we got an Earth Spirit egg. Nice. Uh, you get eggs that you can hatch that will... Um, allow you to basically some of the stuff you don't find you can you can uh hatch okay let's see let's go with attack um let's go torch plus 
Level up. Uh, holy water plus. This is the one thing I haven't learned is what is actually increasing the poison. I think it's power based. I thought it was speed based, but I think it's power based. Um. Ooh. Thorn trap poison damage and draw two cards for poison damage and apply. Do I want to know? Um, I'll figure it out. It's fine. Part of, part of the fun is, is learning, but thank you. Um, let me take a drink here. I think we go with this one. Ooh, Poison Leaf. Poison Leaf Plus is really good, because it removes two armor, does poison damage, and applies poison. Um, anything that does, like, armor and damage is usually very helpful. Okay. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, we need to heal our Shroom Buddy feed. Um, boop. Boop. There we go. Okay. Two. That's not bad. Yeah, they're gonna fo Oof. Apparently the apple's been working out. Okay. So if we do this... Um... We could do six damage and apply four poison, which would probably kill it. Or... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so what I could do... Is... Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit this with po potent poison. Break blocked. Never had that happen before. Okay, fine. Um, we're going to reduce your armor so that when this does 13 damage, it'll do 12 damage and kill you instantly. Bingo. Okay. And then we need to... Oh, we, oof. We might lose the emo shroom here. Oof. That's close. Blocked. Interesting. Never seen that happen before. Okay. There we go. Poison damage to all enemies. Apply for poison. And then we can reduce its armor. So that way it doesn't take a turn. Okay, we've got 18 fire damage there. I think he doesn't have armor, but... Ooh, nine burn might actually be beneficial here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this for the 27 damage in a card. See if the card... No, the card's not something we want, and we're going to apply nine burn. So that way we got some double debuffs going. Because again, remember that debuffs go through um, armor. Okay, eight armor. Discard two cards and get gain two energy. Okay. Well, if we did that, we wouldn't be able to do anything. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply eighteen burn, reduce the armor by two. And then we're going to do this to do the poison damage. Okay, so it, it has something that's allowing it to block our poison damage. Interesting. Okay. 
apply burn enemies twice. Shuffle, yep. Okay. Which card do we want on top? Probably if we can get it. Yep, yeah, that one there. Um, and then we're going to spend this beating you that. And let's just do four damage just for the heck of it. That's that fire. That fire is going to do some damage. We might actually be able to just straight up kill him this turn. Because we have this now. And then we just do this. And then between the poison and the fire, he should just die. Yeah. Okay, Octopup leveled up. That's good. Okay, let's talk to you so we can feed you a lily pad. We've got a bunch of lily pads growing at home. We just got to wait for them. Okay. Speed. Pool your HP and divide it equally between all. I think the three regen's probably better. This is the first dungeon like this, by the way. Usually there's treasure chests that you have to do, like, like movement puzzles to get through. So let's see if this wood, this wood uh, monstrosity, long log, uh, can block. Okay, so this is a three, three-person fight, so we got to be careful here. Um... So I think the 18 burn and 2 armor makes sense here. The poison makes sense here. Um, and he's weak to fire, so that'll get that. Uh, and then we could do that again to reduce armor. They're weak to water? Huh. Okay, so they're changing their weaknesses somehow. I'm not never seen that before. Are they all attacking emo shroom? Of course they're all attacking emo shroom. Y'all are some punks, you know that? Okay. So nine burn and one armor. Um, top two cards here, draw a pile, and choose one to add to your hand. Ooh, poison, that would be great. Okay, and then we can... Poison... This guy. We're gonna discard this and this. So that way we can feed. There we go. Okay, so the middle log is dead next turn. So we don't don't need to worry about that. Okay. So let's do. this. Okay, it doesn't have any armor. It's going to take 18 plus 6, so that one should be dead. Um, so we could reduce their armor by 4, and then do 5 damage there. Yeah, so that's dead, that's dead, and then we just have this last one here. Okay. Upgrade all cards. We haven't tried this. Upgrade all cards in your deck for the rest of combat. I'm guessing that makes them the plus. We don't really need to do that, because we can just do this. Um...
but still need to figure out how that works. Okay, two level ups. This is a really helpful dungeon for us. Oh, something that took me way too long to realize. Uh, these chests, you can pick them up. Uh, the boss chests that you find at the end of these, uh, they, um, they sell for 300 gold. So if you're hard up for money, you can do that. Oh, they all have one armor? Interesting. Okay. So... Apply nine burn to random enemies twice. Okay. Poison, let's go with you. And then you have the next lowest health, so let's go with you. And then we can end turn. Okay, so that gets us two dazes there. So that means only one attack goes through, which is good. There we go. Eight poison to all enemies. Definitely something we want here. And then we could do this to take that. Yep, dead. Dead. And then the middle one we can just whittle away. Because it has one armor, dude. Like. Oh, it, did it just berserk itself? Really? Well, time to die, friend. <laughs> like. <laughs> berserk allows you to do more damage, but you take more damage. That, that, that was like the worst time for it to use berserk. Um, so, okay, shroom, level up. Okay. Um, let's get power up to 10. Ooh, thorn trap plus. Draw three cards. Interesting, okay. Level up. Um, let's go with... Let's go with this. Uh, sacrifice plus... Yeah, we'll do that. Level up. Okay. Power 10. Ooh. 15 damage four times. Draw two cards. Nice. So if we fight something weak to fire, they're going to get messed up with that card. Paint buckets. 